guys, welcome back to my channel. Believe it or not, this is the fourth time I'm attempting to film this video. And so if you're seeing this video right here, then we did it. Snap them. You were there through all the struggles. We did it. High five. Okay, so today I'm here. I don't know what I'm doing with my heads, but I'm here to share with you guys my best of beauty 2015. I cannot believe that we are now in 2016. That is just crazy talk. The year went by way too fast, and I cannot believe that 2020 is four years from now. What? 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 2015 was definitely a year for experimenting for me. I was definitely a lot more open to trying out new brands and products, so I do have quite a bit of products here in front of me so without further ado let's get started so I am going to attempt to be systematic so start off with my primer then my foundation and concealer you guys get it but it is most likely that I will be all over the place two minutes in so <laughs> but I'm gonna try for you guys so starting off with primer I have been loving actually wait before that I just wanted to tell you guys in advance that I will be overusing a ton of words such as loving obsessed amazing amaze balls <laughs> so as long as you guys understand that these are my favorite products of the year so they are going to be amazing i am going to love them and i'm most likely obsessed with every single one so moving on so the primer that i've been loving is the hourglass number 28 primer serum if you have dry skin like myself this is heaven in a bottle because it is so so hydrating because it's a serum your skin absorbs it really quickly and it's not sticky at all but it does have a little tackiness because obviously it is a primer so you do want your makeup to stick on your face and it really does make your makeup last longer for me what i love most about this primer is the smell it smells like a spa and that's such a weird thing to say but it really does it smells like I am getting a treatment every time I put this on my face it has that essential oil aromatherapy vibe going on so it feels very refreshing on the skin it's just a really good pick-me-up serum in my opinion so the number one foundation I feel that has really made its mark in 2015 is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm sure you've heard a ton of YouTubers rave about it and for a good reason. It really is an amazing, amazing foundation. Like I said, I have dry skin so this worked amazing for me but I have heard that people with oily skin hate it. So for those who have oily skin and have tried this, please comment down below whether you love it or you hate it so others can read about it as well. What I love about this foundation is that it's really lightweight and it blends into your skin really really nicely. However, I do find that if I go in with a second layer, it can tend to look cakey. I don't know if that's just my skin or um, anyone else has experienced that, but in all honesty, one layer is enough. It is just so, so amazing, you guys. It just makes you look so flawless, you know? So for this next product, I think this would be my third mention of it in a video. Um, I think I mentioned it in my June favorites and my Snapchat q and I think, and it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer. This concealer is the bomb.com. I don't understand how amazing a concealer can be. If I had to choose one product from 2015 that is my ultimate favorite, wait, I'm just like scanning through everything. Yeah, pretty much. This is probably the best product I've tried in 2015. It is so full coverage yet weightless just as the name says it is so so lightweight I don't understand how something can be so full coverage yet feel so light on the skin it doesn't crease it doesn't cake up it looks just flawless on the skin I feel like I'm getting so emotional over this product if you guys haven't tried this please do yourselves a favor and go out and get it you won't regret it I promise I promise <laughs> so now moving on to powders I feel like we're keeping up with the system here this is this is good. My favorite setting powder of 2015 definitely has to go to be Australia's Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. It's an Australian brand. And to be honest with you guys, I never used to set my face with powder because I always thought I had dry skin and I just didn't feel the need to apply more products on my face. But because so many people were raving about this product, I thought to give it a try. What I like about this powder is that it's a really light powder. So it's not heavy on the skin at all, it doesn't cake up, it doesn't make you look like a powdery mess and it really does give you a flawless complexion, keeping your makeup last all day. So yeah, let's try it. So 2015 was definitely a year of baking and so my next product is something that I've been using to bake with <laughs> and it's the Laura Mercier, Mercier, Mercier? No? 
um, translucent powder. What I like about this powder is that it's one very finely milled so it's not going to cake up on your skin and I also really like the color. It's not too white, it's not too yellow. I think it's perfect for those who have olive skin tones like myself. And so I'll just quickly show you guys how I usually bake. Um, I don't do anything drastic but um, what I do is I first obviously apply my concealer and then I blend it out with a beauty blender make sure that there aren't any creases in my fine lines or anything. And I just go ahead and grab some product with the Beauty Plan Beauty Planta? Beauty Blender. I don't know where the English accent came from. But anyway, you just grab some product and gently press it over the concealer. You just kind of want to apply it on the surface. I usually just let it sit while I do my brows and then once I'm done with my brows, I go and grab a brush like this and then just brush it off. That's it. But what I love about baking is that it just gives you that extra entrance to make sure that your concealer doesn't budge at all throughout the days. So now on to highlighters. My holy grail has definitely been the So Hollywood Illuminator by Anastasia. Just quickly you guys, there are a lot of favorites here by Anastasia and that's because I only just discovered her last year and quality is just impeccable from the packaging to the actual product. I'm just obsessed, so just a little warning. So now on to why I love this highlighter so much. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? Are you serious? It is so, so beautiful. We love the size of the mirror. I always have this on hand when I do my makeup. It's just the perfect size. In terms of the actual product, So Hollywood is a gorgeous gold shimmer. It's just so, so beautiful, you guys, and it blends into your skin like heaven. And I love applying this highlight with their highlighting brush. It's the A23. It's the perfect density, the perfect size. I just love it so, so much. I don't really know what else to say about it, but you guys just take a look for yourself. So pretty. So now on to contouring. This has been around for a while, the Hoola by Benefit Bronzer, but I only started using it last year and I can see now why so many people love this stuff. It's so crazy how this one shade can suit so many different skin tones. I know some people who are fairer who love it and others who are more tan who love it as well. So when I first saw this product, I thought it was a little bit too light for me, um, but once I actually applied it onto my skin, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's, it's beautiful and what I love most about this is that it's pigmented and it's so so blendable which I feel is one of the most important factors of contouring shades because you don't want something that looks too harsh or muddy or anything like that. You want your contour to really be well blended into your skin so I've been really loving that. Hula by Benefit. Oh, you guys it matches me. Cute. So now we're going to move on to Z brows. You guys already know my favorite brow product has to be from Anastasia. She is the brow queen and I personally love the brow whiz. So she does have a few brow products but this is definitely my favorite. I just find it's the easiest way to get flawless brows. So what I like about the brow whiz is how thin the pencil is and so you can really create hair like strokes super easily. And I also love the spoolie end just to brush up my hair make sure that everything is evenly distributed. So yeah, brow whiz. So now onto eyeliners. Let me tell you, I've had my fair share of liners, but this is definitely the best liner I've tried so far. And it's the Tarte Tarte Clay Paint Liner, and it comes with this brush right here. I just love how creamy and easy to glide on this liner is, and I also love this little base area that they have where you squeeze out the product, and then with the brush, you grab product and remove the excess. It's just really easy to work with. And most importantly, it's super, super black. And that is definitely really important for me. So this is definitely my go-to. The only thing I don't like about this product is how little product there is in this tube. If Tarte came up with a bigger tube, I'm gonna be on that real quick. So now on to some lashes. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd know that I love me some Huda Beauty lashes. These are so, so amazing, really great quality, and they have such a good range of styles, you know, to suit those who prefer a more natural look, to those who really like drama. What my favorite um, styles are from Huda Beauty, so I really like the Giselle. Giselle is definitely, to me, the most natural looking ones. I'll try to pop some images here somewhere, but I really enjoy Giselle. Um, Samantha is also another great one. It's almost identical to Giselle, but just a lot more dramatic and longer and more fluttery. I also really love Monique. Those really give you a baby doll effect. Um, and also Candy. Candy is good for those of you who want to have that drama but also want to keep it kind of natural-ish. So another lash brand that I just discovered last year is a print-based company called K-Lux Lashes. 
and I'm actually using one of their lashes today. It's the Style Cassie and I really, really love their lashes. They're all extremely natural looking. If you have yet to jump on the lash bandwagon because you're afraid um, falsies won't suit you, you must try these lashes, you guys. They're so, so pretty. I'll leave a link to their website down below so you guys can check them out. Super natural, highly recommend it. So 2015 was definitely the year of liquid lipsticks. Everyone and their mother came out with liquid lipsticks. Um, but my favorite are, of course, yes, you guessed it, Anastasia's liquid lipsticks. I have really dry lips, so there's not a lot of liquid lipsticks that look good on me. Um, but these are not drying at all. I'm using one today and it just feels and it feels velvety I don't know um, and the color that I'm using today is soft lilac so soft lilac is one of their newer shades it's a gorgeous baby pinky purple shade the color that I really love as well is craft and it's a gorgeous berry color I also love trust issues um, this was definitely the color that got me out of my comfort zone from my usual nudes and pinks it's a beautiful beautiful deep purple maybe I don't know, what, what color would you say this is? I'm really bad at explaining colors, you guys. And the last one is definitely out of my comfort zone. It is Sepia, Sepia, I'm not sure how to say that, but it's a beautiful brownie gray shade. The, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette has definitely been my ride or die this year. I've used this palette so, so much, and I love it so much because it has so many different colors, and you can create, create, so many, and this looks with it. That's my Australian accent, by the way. Been in Australia for 14 years, did not acquire the accent whatsoever. Anyway, so what I love about this palette is that there are so many different shades. I think it's so great for when you're traveling because you can create so many different looks with this. And it smells like chocolate, so it smells like love. So yeah, that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please comment down below what your favorites of 2015 were. I'd love to know. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't already. I hope everyone has had an amazing start to the new year and that you're all sticking to your resolutions. Mine was to eat healthy and go to the gym more often. And so far I've had McDonald's for lunch and gone to the gym once. <laughs> so yeah. Actually comment down below what your resolutions are for this year and if you're going strong or you've already lost it like I have. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye my beauties. Mwah.